like the chilling time so it, after they pray Fajr they go, he'd go and visit um, uh, Baqi' that was his norm Ali salatu wasalam his habit, habit. then uh, he would come with the Sahaba especially the very close ones and they'd walk to Masjid al-Quba and do the prayer on Saturdays they'd pray um, two rak'ahs so he'd reg he regularly visit here on a weekly basis and then they'd come to a spot which is around this where we are around here now um, where there was a well, and this well was called Bir Aris, the well of Aris. And the Prophet ﷺ used to relax over here with the Sahaba, they used to be like a, um, the tone would go down, they'd be much more relaxed, like a chilling time for them all. Um, and this was the place where the Prophet's ring was lost uh, in the time of Sayyidina Uthman ibn Affan. And it won't be found until Sayyidina Imam Mahdi comes, and uh, then he'll find it, and then that will be the the marking of Zainal Imam Mahdi. Okay, so it's around here. The well's not here now, you can't see it, but it's it was around this area here where we are now. Okay, that's uh, the bit of Aris where the Prophet used to relax. The place that he actually rested when he arrived is that garden over there. So we, normally we'd actually go inside, but it, I think they're building it. You see the palm trees? That's called the Mustadal. So the Prophet arrived in there. That's your spot where they've marked where he sat, rested, relaxed. So it's there, that garden over there. It shook. And then when it shook, he was with the Prophet was with, uh, was with Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Umar uh, on that mountain. Some say he was with Sayyidina Ali uh, in some narrations. But uh, then uh, it shook and then the Prophet said, he, he stamped his foot on Uhud and he said, there's no need to shake. The only upon you is a, is a prophet and a shaheed, okay, a martyr. Uh, so it was an indication to how Sayyidina Abu Bakr and Sayyidina Umar were to pass away. And the scholars, when they speak about how Uhud shook, uh, there's a spiritual aspect to it that uh, Uhud it shook out of the uh, it was excitement towards having the Messenger وسلم, upon it. And uh, inshallah, when we get a chance, we won't be able to go right to the mountain. But um, there are areas where you'll f there are areas where the Prophet the, the people of Medina indicate that uh, there are marks of the Prophet's blessed back, his shoulder blade, his fingerprints, because the mountain molded itself in order to make it comfortable. You wouldn't smell anything, and then you'd see a spot where there's as soon as you put your head in, you f you smell the Prophet's musk. I mean, it's because of, bl of the blood وسلم, that was coming out from him but as soon as you come out of it you won't smell it so nobody can put atr on there because you can smell it wherever it is literally when you go like this you'll smell it but then Allah have, Allah have mercy on these guys they put cement in it and just locked it off so yeah so we'll go and give salam to Sayyidina Hamza inshallah and it's a place where dua is answered so make use of the inshallah moment <laughs> 